Hey, what's up guys? This is Ashenox. I've been crafting for the past three days. I've used over a hundred million gold. I've used over a hundred thousand Abyss Drake Claws. Let me show you guys what I have now and what I had before. So right now you're seeing how much I had before. And uh, yeah, now that's what I have. So I've done a lot of crafting. Yeah, and I've crafted mostly rings. I did uh, some helms and a few weapons. So let me show you guys the results. And let me actually talk about uh, a big mistake that I've done while crafting. So uh, if you can take something out of this video, it should be to uh, not do the same. And uh, also, I'll show you guys uh, first what I can reforge. After that, uh, I'd like to show you guys what I reforged. And uh, yeah, let's, let's begin here. So... Uh, Something I want to talk about is that you should, if you're extracting rare gear already, which you should, well, you should consider extracting uh, the ring and the necklaces when they are heroic quality. Not only rare, because I don't have, look at what I'm sitting on. You could be sitting on a lot of those as well. And uh, yeah, I, I don't have enough speed ice cube so i can just target speed set and potentially get some really high speed gear it doesn't matter i can put those to good use you know and you could put those to good use as well you know a speed set effectiveness main with high speed of course like who wouldn't need that uh you know you could be using defense percentage effect resistance uh of course, maybe not effect resistance like so much, but if you end up with high speed and you get a lot of value out of that. And, uh, you know, for necklaces, it's the same thing. You know, crit chance, I have a lot of those. So I'm just sitting on a bunch of, do bunch of those. And when I, when I was crafting, right, I was extracting rares. Uh, the rings, whatever, the weapons, the helms. Of course, I extract those. But for necklace and ring, you should extract heroic gear. Not epic because you can sell those for a lot of gold. But, you know, rare gear is you sell those for 10,000 plus the bonuses that you have on your account. And heroic is 15,000. You know, of course, it's 50% more. But it's that valuable. I'm not saying that go and extract epic, you know, uh, ring and necklaces that you don't want. Uh, especially when they are enhanced. When they are enhanced, I feed them into... Uh, stuff that I want to see if it's gonna turn out good Four rings I got this here that I can reforge a lot of value on this thing man uh, You know, I got a lot of survivability and high offense on this thing. So very good value It's unfortunately a hit set. So that's what happens when you're crafting, you know uh, You're gonna get some of the sets that you don't really want as much as of course speed and crit But it does happen. This is on a crit set the value uh, of this thing is not as good of course as the other one but i got the uh combination of like pure offense to get even more offense on this it would be instead of flat health it would be flat attack this thing here i mean if i need a, a effectiveness on a speed set with 14 speed i could use this thing it has crit chance so maybe i need a bit more crit chance to uh you know if i want to bring uh challenge a domino ahead if i want to land a bunch of crit chance uh, when I'm fighting someone to have Challenger Domino follow, then of course, maybe I could use these points of crit chance. I mean, not the greatest, but uh, yeah, out of a hundred thousand plus Abyss Drake Claws, uh, yeah, you'll see what I get. But I didn't actually enhance everything. That's the thing though. Like I've used over a hundred million gold, but there's still a lot of stuff I need to enhance. I just enhanced what I needed right now the most. That's the thing. This is on a hit set again, but look at the value on this thing. This ring is so beast. It's crazy. I got the full offense substat right there with health main stat. It is crazy what uh, this thing rolled like. So that's, uh, sorry, that was the, the rings. And now let me show you weapon. This thing is not the greatest. Of course, that's the problem with heroic gear. The fourth substat, you don't know what it's going to be. And then when you decide to bring it to plus 15, it might roll into that fourth substat. And that's really uh, frustrating when it does happen. But yes, I was able to get, you know, 40, uh, 17 speed if I uh, reforge it. And I got uh, crit and attack percentage. So that's pretty nice if I'm building like Assassin Sid. I, I want to go first. I want to take out the uh, that target. And that's good right there for that. 
and I decided to enhance this one as well because it had the combination, you know, speed, attack, and crit or crit damage. In this case, it's crit chance. So, of course, uh, it would have been much nicer if the fourth substat was like crit damage, right? Uh, to be honest, like if it was anything uh, but flat substat or effect resistance, it would have been it would have been much better. So yeah, unfortunately, the rolls on this one are not uh, so good. The weapon rolled better, but yeah, I was looking for something like this to build uh, my Pavel. And uh, there's also this uh, this helm that I actually brought to uh, plus 15. Uh, it does have some actually really good value on it. Well, a pretty good value, not really good value. So yeah, that's the stuff that I actually uh, didn't reforge yet that is at plus 15. And there's also this, uh, this chest, which actually I want to reforge next. Got the nice combination of crit crit damage and speed. That, that, that combo right there is, is quite hard to get and get some high rolls into. And then I actually have the effectiveness. So I can put all that to good use on a hero like, uh, you know, Spectre Tenebria, my Ice Kise. Uh, you know, Judge Kise could probably use that. It depends on how you build her, if you push her with Oxlots. But there's a lot of heroes. If you can put all these stats to good use, then that's great. You know, on a chest, you cannot roll attack percentage. So yeah, uh, really nice uh, chest right here. So of course, I would have hoped for like a lot more speed. But, you know, like, speed is the hardest stat to roll in this game. It's crazy. It rolls between 1 and 5. 5 you almost never see. It can initially come with 5 speed as well. But, you know, I, I don't remember the last time I saw a, a piece that came with 5 speed. Finally, here. Let me show you this crazy ring I got. Look at this beauty, man. Like, this is crazy good. This is not only attack percentage on a speed set with speed you know because that's what i was aiming for but you know you might be going for something but then you don't have to dismiss the other stuff that you're getting you know yes of course i would have liked more speed but look at what happened with the crit damage yeah that's what happens when you enhance epic gear that has all usable substats first you're not gonna feel too bad if you're, uh, you know, there's no stat that it will roll into that you're gonna be super stat about. It's not like a, a flat substat that ain't speed. It's not like, you know, if you don't have effect resistance there, that's great too. So all usable substats and man oh man, like the values, it rolled so high and I got, you know, my combo. The stuff that I was missing the most, attack percentage with speed on a speed set and then I got the crit damage, boom, like crazy good. Okay, super hyped about that one. Of course, I, I reforged ASAP. As so, and it was at the start of the crafting session. You know, like when you get something like that, you're like, well, not this one. Well, it's okay. When you get something like that and you start your crafting session, you're, you're sitting on a bunch of materials, you're like, oh my God, I need to craft more. That's what happened. And of course, if unless you're ultra lucky, you're not gonna be getting a bunch of pieces like this, you know, uh, constantly that's the thing uh, once in a blue moon you know but you don't have to dismiss the other type of gear if you're aiming for speed don't forget about your other heroes you know it's uh, that's not all offense so here of course i brought the stuff at plus 15 that i needed right now so this is on a speed set attack percentage with 14 speed this is something i don't have the best i had before was like nine speed or like this account is really like in need of on a speed set a ring with attack percentage main stat with speed in the substat like with some maybe something else that is good so yeah the value is not so good flat health you know it's not so great uh that's definitely unfortunate there uh this was from equipment conversion and i got really lucky there because it's a speed set and i got 16 speed and effectiveness on the main stat not only that i got health and defense percentage as well so that was an upgrade for my Rosid. I have a lot of heroes with high speed. Uh, I have multiple combat units, boosters with uh, high speed. You know, I got Rosid, uh, Faithless Lytica, I got uh, Desert Joe Bazaar. And that's, that was nice. So this shows you the power of equipment conversion because you can target the main stat and the set. It's huge. It, it's so good and it's an epic piece as well. Straight off the bat, you know that Man, this thing I really want to push and see what happens uh, if I bring it all the way to plus 9. It's not like a heroic piece, like, oh man, always in the back of your mind. What is it going to happen when I bring this thing at plus 12? 
what is going to be that fourth substat. That's a big problem with Heroic Gear, and it's a gamble. It's a lot of wasted materials, a lot of wasted gold, man, that's going to, you know, happen because it's it's Heroic. But Epic, that's a different story, and equipment conversion is such a powerful system that they added to the game. This one is a nice combination of substats. Uh, of course, I will bring more, uh, much higher than plus three. So, yeah, I would say that, of course, jewelry is extremely hard to roll, you know, uh, to find or to craft for. So that's where equipment conversion comes in. That's where you're going to be building your great necklaces and rings, unless you're really lucked out with your drops or your crafting. But I, to be honest, like, if you can take something out of this whole crafting session that I've done, it's another thing, it's this. You should use your crafting materials on stuff other than jewelry. Jewelry, necklace, and ring is so hard. It's going to be so much garbage there. But if you're going to be do doing some crafting there because you need to have some ice cube, you want to extract them, and you want to, you know, do equipment conversion, you know, do it on speed set. Definitely, it's worth it to do rare and heroic. Not epic because it's, it's a lot of gold when you sell it. But, yeah, not only rare, you should do heroic because, man, like... Uh, we're, we're basically sitting on uh, potentially like a really good gear that we could be using right now and we could be using our valuable charms or just feeding other, uh, you know, uh, bad gear into. And yeah, we're not doing that. We're actually maybe enhancing stuff that is not that good. And that's a lot of wasted materials, a lot of wasted gold, a lot of wasted resources that is happening because, uh, because of a simple thing like that, which is unfortunate let us know what you guys think about the crafting system or the equipment conversion system in the comment section let's have a discussion there that's gonna be it for this one guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash that like button if you loved it consider subscribing to the channel i'm astronauts good luck with all you do peace out for now